Hello everyone and welcome back to another house vlog. So uh, I received this through the post the other day, which is my uh, router for the new uh, internet setup. And I received an email saying it's all uh, all set up now. The uh, application has been processed and it's all up and running. So I thought while the paint's drying outside in the garage, I'd go and uh, get this installed. So first things first, I need to find a, um, a telephone port. There's one down there in the living room, I think. And, and well, in fact, I know there's one in this office uh, room, but it's gonna be a playroom. So, plus there's loads of junk in there, so I think I'll set it up in there. Uh, I'm wondering, actually, I've not actually looked. I should, probably should have before I started this video. But ideally, if there's a, um, a telephone port in my office room, which is over there, I know there's one in the master bedroom for some reason down there. But I guess back in the days when people had telephones next to their beds, but uh, this is going to be my office room, this uh, this bedroom, because I because uh, I work from home and I pretty much spend all day and all night in my little office cave. Uh, I thought I'd have quite a large room as opposed to the little box room I'm currently in our current property. So um, bad news though, there's only uh, there's a TV port for some reason, but um, there's no telephone port. So I think I'll set it up downstairs in the lounge. Now one day I'm going to work, run an, an Ethernet port and I'll maybe use that as the um, change it into an Ethernet connector and then run it around to wherever my computer's going to be. But anyway, let's go and sort this out downstairs. Move all the baby toys out of it. Where these all need to go into storage somewhere. I thought these would all fit in loft, but unfortunately the the loft hatch is tiny, so we're going to have to rethink that. After all that work I've done in my garage, it looks like all these old baby stuffs going to have to be stored in there. Right, so uh, let's get this unboxed. Right, so we got instructions. Uh, a Zai XL router. It's quite small and tiny. Oh, can't see my password. <laughs> um, oh, there's a stand for that. Yeah. Ethernet cable, I'll need that for setting up because I've, I've not got anything with me. We haven't got a telephone yet, but we have got a new telephone number. All our telephones are currently still set up in our old place. So I'll install that for now, this splitter thing. What else will we need? What's this? Plug, but we need that. I don't need that one for US or whatever that one's for. Oh, by the way, the company I've gone with is uh, Zen. Now, uh, I found these, I looked online for recommendations and on uh, various uh, Reddit's Zen was highly recommended. I'm currently in, uh, in a Virgin Media area with the cable uh, broadband as part of the package with the whole TV and everything. Uh, we get 100 meg down, but it's only like uh, 5 meg up, something rubbish. And uh, and the, uh, as with all the big um, companies like Virgin Media, BT, and all the rest of them, they all use uh, throttle management, like uh, uh, traffic management, like throttling and bandwidth caps and things like this. And that's one of the best things about Zen, apparently, is they have no traffic management whatsoever. So. Uh, you know, with me, I have a, a an online backup solution that's always like t always ticking over and things like that. So that'd be quite handy. So uh, we're in this area is not a Virgin Media cable area, but they do um, BT. It's in one of those BT in to infinity and beyond areas. I think I'm going to be, be able to get up to 80 down. But another advantage of Zen is it's a uh, full 20 meg up, so it'll be really handy for uploading YouTube videos and all my design resources and things like that. So. Uh, Let's get on and get it installed and see how it um, compares on the speed test. Right, that's all rubbish. Power can go in there. If it fits, go on, get in. Ah, bloody things come off. Right, so let's stick that in wall, that in there, that in there, that in there. And then I'll go and get my laptop. We've got a flashing light. Hopefully the, these other ones will come on. <laughs> right, let's get my laptop booted up in the meanwhile. Let's have plugged everything in, Hunter. Oh, we've got another flashing light. That's me. Oh, look, and that's me. Hello. Oh, we've got, we've got a solid DSL and now a flashing internet. Oh, we've gone back to flashing power now. No internet and no DSL. What's that all about? Let's try connecting via um, Wi Fi. Assuming that all neighbours look like neighbours are on Sky. <laughs> We've got any wireless? What's uh... oh, flashing DSL's bike? <laughs> I don't think this would be so much, uh, so much hassle. I thought it'd be a fairly simple, just plug and play job. Oh, there we go, Zyxl. That's us. Right, what's the password? 
dot 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 join da da see if this one works oh it's not same thing so what's happening here then all right we've got internet and dsl now again is it busy communicating to mainframe and seeing if if my account's set up yeah troubleshooting if possible move your device closer to your router for better wireless signal i think we're, we're about as close as we can get <laughs> has that worked <laughs> so we've got solid dsl and a flashy internet at least wireless is obviously working well we have success uh, i think I've, i missed a, a super crucial important step in the instructions go and make yourself a cup of tea and wait five to ten minutes <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it seems to be working now, at least it, well, saying that, it brings up the, uh, the Zen homepage, but for some reason, it doesn't like Google. Oh no, there we go, it's working now. <laughs> so, uh, right, let's get on and, and do a speed test. Begin test, 32 meg ping, what are we getting, about 60, 70? Go on, pick it, just 70, 68 by the looks of it, oh, 69, it's a steady 69 anyway. And then this is the crucial one, what's the up speed? Oh, going a bit further, oh, about 15, 15, 16, not too bad, about 16 up, that's, I mean, my gem village is down here, about between 3 and 5 on uh, Virgin Media, so that's really going to help my uh, uh, YouTube video uploads and stuff, so, um, oh, right, 69 down and 16 up, so not too bad, I'm quite happy with that. Let's check it again just on Wi-Fi, just, just to compare. I assume it'll be exactly the same. Oh, look at that big dip in connection then. Definitely a lot steadier on, on Ethernet. So, right, only 65 down on other Wi-Fi. And then it's still the same, about 16 up. So, uh, that'll do me for now. I've, uh, the next job will be, like I said, sometime I'll, I'll figure out where, the, um, where that cable goes into that, uh, that room up there, run an Ethernet cable up so I can plug all my Xbox and my computer in directly into the uh, into like um, uh, an Ethernet multi-port splitter thing. So um, I think I'll round off this video now because I'm going back to painting the garage now. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.